Hi, you guys. Welcome to Something Reborn Thursday. My name is Birgit Heffler. I am the owner and designer of Something From Somewhere, Organically Reborn Furniture and Decor. I come on every Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and I show you something new to do, something to create. I hope to inspire you to reuse anything that you have at home. Perhaps you've had any kind of ideas uh, that you want to revamp and I wanna show you how to do that. I also paint furniture, repurpose vintage furniture, and uh, pick it up from thrift stores and Goodwills, or just sometimes even given to me, and I give them a new life, and then I sell them on my shop or on my website. So thank you for being here today. So I want to um, also begin by saying thank you for all the new subscribers and viewers, and if you've shared my page, I totally appreciate it as a small business and a little bit helps. And uh, I do see a little bit, uh, actually quite big of a difference. I've had a lot more clients and customers come in the shop and I'm super, super thankful. So I did want to mention that to you guys that I totally appreciate you very much. Hey, Sergey, welcome, welcome. All right, so today I wanted to um, show you guys how to use IOD molds. Uh, we'll get into maybe do, doing some transfers as well, but using the molds that are behind me here um, And particularly the ones that we're going to use today. It's um, They're called I'm Sorry bird song and trims the trimmings number two. So they come in this like rubbery material as you guys can see these are the ones we're going to use today if you see a little bit of the white there is cornstarch i've been uh you know practicing before the video and um that is just a trick i'll show you now to help them come out easier when you start using them so these are the molds we're going to use them and i want to show you today how to make beautiful picture frames from perhaps some picture frames you already have at home but you don't like and you want to give them a little bit more of a design or more detail this is a great way to make that and also um, to create uh, signs and uh, just decorate them so uh, we use these and the product that we create is like a it's like a i don't know like a, it's a clay it is a clay but it's called air dry clay they come like this this is a used package this is the one that will look like it is unused. It's an air dry clay by IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. So you pretty much, it's like Play-Doh, I'll show you. You grab a piece and you just mix it around and then you put them inside these molds. So that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna show you this in particular. I started working on this earlier today to give you an idea. So this was just, hi Marta, welcome. This was just a plain piece of wood, just a plain piece of wood. And um, actually, I believe it was an old um, wood, like board for cutting meat, you know, those uh, wooden boards. And inside here was a little groove, just a hole. So I filled that out with a trim, which I made out of the molds. And this is like what I wanted to show you, how to create the mold, using wood glue to put it down and then i want to put it like a transfer in here so you can see how beautiful you could just create a picture and hang it on your wall or just standing on your dresser or on a night table wherever you want just as simple as that first of all with an old plain piece of wood and then i want to see if we have enough time i have these old picture frames They've already been painted, but I don't really like it. It's kind of like not my color. So whether you like it or not, the coloring is really not a problem, but to do uh, some design maybe, you know, too plain. So I wanna show you how to use the molds um, and I'm gonna do some birds. I wanted to add some birds and show you how to do it. So if you guys are ready, I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see what I'm doing and uh, go with me as you know, come along with me. So let me just bring you down. Close enough. Right there, I think it's good. Let me see, let me come down here with you guys. Very cool. 
I'll bring you closer so I can read any questions that you may have, just in case. There you go. All right. Let me just turn my computer on. Thanks for your patience. I'll be right there. All right. Here we go. Awesome, awesome. Perfect. Okay, guys. All right. Is that good? You guys can see me? There. Look how cute that is. So, this, like I mentioned earlier, was just a piece of board, and then I put these on, and I did these little molds, little birds, by using air dry clay and using these are the molds. All right. Maybe we'll get to do the frames, but I want to do this plain piece of wood, which was just the way like this one started. So I could show you how you start with even painting it. And then we'll continue with it here. All right. Awesome. Sorry about the noise, you guys. Remember, I'm next door to uh, my other half who has a motorcycle shop, and I don't know why he starts it up now. The motorcycles, knowing that I'm on live. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you guys. So, one really cool thing, if we haven't talked about before with paint, with this clay paint, you can actually water them down. So, you would just pour a little bit of the paint in this case, I used again, this is one of my favorite whites. I know you guys hear me talk about it a lot. It's called crinoline. I poured a little bit in here and then I poured some water and what I created was a stain. So in this particular project, I want to make it a stain. So I just mix paint, water, so I can just begin to paint it. So it's not going to be like a really deep, deep coloring. It's gonna be kind of watered, washed down. So you can do this with any color really. And I wanted to show you how you could do this as well yourselves. And you can use it on frames, any kind of, you know, wood, paint, any kind of material that you wanted to give it that washed look. This was a raw piece of wood. So it's gonna absorb really, really nice. And then you just let it dry. All right, and that's what I did here. So while this is drying, I'm going to do some of the molds, okay? So that's it. This is just with a little bit of water and a little bit of paint. Let me just do this a little bit here. I don't want those for this streaks. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put it on the side so it dries for a little while. And then we'll come back to that. So I wanna show you these little guys that I did earlier. Aren't they cute? They're adorable. Those are little birds that came out of this mold, bird song, it's called. They're by IOD Iron Orchid Designs as well. They're also um, great for if you bake, and I know some of you do. Hi, Anne, welcome, and hi, Marcelo. Um, they're great for cooking. So if you're doing cookies, uh, baking, you can actually put them in the microwave um, and you can actually bake with these guys. All the instructions when you purchase them come in the back. They're also food safe. So they're just they're really great, great molds. Not just for art for you know using for furniture, but you can use it in many different ways. So we use air dry clay. It's like playing with Play-Doh and you pull out a chunk I'll show you and it dries pretty quick. They shrink a little bit but they're beautiful because you really don't have to wait once it comes out. 
you can just place them wherever you're going to place them and then paint over them. So they're, they're, it's a really great uh, medium to play with and to work with. So I'm going to show you here. I'm thinking... So this is what I did earlier. And this trim there is this trim over here. So let me show you how I made that trim by doing it again and then we'll get into the little birds. Because I'm not sure what I want to do with the birds. Maybe I want to put them in here. See? And create like a, sorry, create like a little frame. All right. So, air dry clay. Pull out a little chunk. And get to playing again like you used to when you were little. And we're going to make this trim. Now, a great trick. I actually have like another piece here. I'd like to put it up here for stability. But what we want to do to make it easier to put it into the mold is kind of do like roll it into a long strip remember when you used to do this guys <laughs> if you have any questions let me know okay i'll be more than happy to answer you so and if i don't for any reason i always do after after i'm done so we're going for this one right it's almost the same length so when was the last time you guys played with play-doh any of you <laughs> me I'm, I'm back playing with play-doh but doing molds for furniture let me bring you closer here you guys you can see what I mean can you see well all right I want you guys to be able to see okay so now what you do is you see how we placed it we made this long little piece now we put it on top of the mold with your fingers and probably it's better if I stand up because I have a little bit more strength but you're just going to squeeze down into the grooves of the mold and make sure that you get every area in. Can you see that? You played with Play-Doh a long time ago. <laughs> and yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, it's time to get back onto it. It's fun. And it's actually a good workout for your fingers. All right, so you guys see how I placed it in? This was actually really good. Sometimes I have a lot of X's on the top. And if that happens, take your spatula. I particularly like more like a metal because it kind of serves like a, like a knife. Hi, Monica. Welcome. Hi, Izzy. How are you? I'm showing you guys, for those of you that are just coming in, how to create like a cool picture frame or an old piece of wood and create and make it into a um, nice, I don't know, wall decor art piece. So here's the sample I did earlier and I painted it. We started by painting this one. I showed you by just a little bit of paint and just diluting it with water, how you can create a stain. And we'll come back to this with putting a frame like this one so you guys can see. So right now we're using this stamp, I'm sorry, this mold from IOD. And this is the one that I did on this sample board here. So what I was saying is after you press it down, if for any reason, this is actually really great before I continue. It has rims, so it's very easy to kind of just, if you push down with your finger, any excess, you can slide it off from the side, okay? Now, very important, this clay dries very quickly. So any part that you're not using always like stick it back into a plastic bag um, and when you're going to store it put it in a ziplock bag and close it up if not it'll dry it'll dry fast okay so that's something to remember so then with the metal spatula what i try to do is really flatten it out if there's any excess like i said i did pretty good on this one but if you guys can see if you push down and you squeeze and you just go across it takes out any excess, which you can reuse. This is not garbage, don't throw it away. You can you know, use it in your next, for your next project. So once it's here, you pretty much what you do is flip it. 
turn it around and you push can you guys see just push this way and look how cool this is it starts coming out very easy now this particular piece already if you saw the white that I was showing you earlier I put a little bit of cornstarch some people like it some people prefer it I don't necessarily need it I don't find it to be such a huge difference but it does help a little bit if you want to when you're first getting started and uh, what I recommend is the first time when you get you know started until you get the hang of it I use a brush and I have some cornstarch as any cornstarch and I dip my my brush the tip of it and you just put a little bit inside the mold and what that does is helps it um, come out easier just like what you saw earlier so when you pull it out it makes it easier to come off in case it gets stuck for any reason but they're usually really good hi Leilani how are you welcome all right I hope that helps so we'll put this on the side here let's do it again for those that just walked in let me lift this up a little bit sorry I keep moving it sometimes angles change and maybe higher is better let me know if you guys can see well great hi Leilani hi welcome welcome all right guys so let me put it this way so you guys can see better there you go okay so we're gonna do this again so we'll grab another piece a little chunk Uh, any of you ever tried um, this already at home? Used any of the um, clay, DIY air dry clay and use molds? No? Yes? Maybe? All right. Now you will. I'm sure you will now. So you pretty much just kind of like, you know, soften it up a little bit. It's not so hard, but you know, just to kind of make it a little bit more easier to maneuver okay so again let's see like if we were starting from scratch a little bit of cornstarch put it on the mold that you're gonna use and now make a little like tube you're just rubbing it this way you see guys all right cool This is fun. <laughs> Can you see how you do it? You're not able to see Leilani? All right, so we just grabbed, um, we're gonna do it now. So we're just right now creating a little tube with the mold, with the, with the clay, so we can put it in the mold. This is the mold that we're gonna use right here. Okay, the one in the middle, so that we can create this. This is my sample board, and all these are the molds created with this air dry clay. All right. Hi, Oneida, welcome. All right, so I'll kind of just put it on the mold now, and now you squeeze. All right, squeeze it into, I'll bring you guys down again so you can see closer. There. So use your thumb and just you want to squeeze down the clay into the grooves of the mold. Make sure all the little angles and parts and details are filled in. Any excess you can just pull it off and use it again later so you can just put it back into your bag it's not wasted they come with this groove so it's really nice to just rip off through the side any excess that you will need okay so now i want to use again my spatula 
I like to use the metal ones because it's almost like a knife effect. It's nice to and it's easy to take off any excess. So what I do is just kind of like squeeze down as you go come across. If you guys can see, the excess comes out. And at the same time, what you're doing is flatten it on the top. So when you put it on any piece of furniture or wherever you're gonna put it, you know, it's all even. Okay. So here we go. It's done. And now we just flip it over and just kind of like pull out through the sides. Look how easily that it comes out. You guys see? Voila! That's it. Awesome. So let's see something here. All right, remember we were painting this earlier or just dry already? So let's see how many pieces we're gonna need. So this is a larger piece, but I wanna do it here and here. See you guys? So let's say you were to use it on a frame. For example, this little frame or any frame. I actually also have this one here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this one or this one, but that's an idea where you can also do this or any of the other ones because there's so many really cool patterns. But I want to mostly show you how easy it is with these molds to just use the clay and you don't even have to wait for them to dry. If you wanted to just right away put it, which is what we're gonna do because of the sake also of the, of the video here, I don't have time to wait until it dries. You don't have to actually, you don't wanna wait until it dries. You wanna be able to put it wherever you're gonna put it at this time because it's easy. It's, you know, it moves. So it's easy to maneuver and to glue. So um, let's put it on this frame here because that's the one that I was showing you from the beginning how cool it is so what you would do is glue I use gorilla wood glue I find it to be awesome for me um, there are many different you know glues in the market but this works great so gorilla glue wood glue all right guys so what do you do is flip it over pretty much and put the glue right on top. I have a little brush just to kind of spread the glue on the mold. And just Let's do the other one. So what up guys? It's Thursday. Anybody coming in? Let me know if you're just showing up from where. I always like to know where, who's watching me from where. I am in Palm City, Florida and I am burning <laughs> to death. It's very warm here, humid, because it's uh, been raining like crazy. We've had like humongous floods, like really, I haven't seen in a long time. And it seems like during the week, that is work week, it's hot and it's sunny, and in the weekends it rains. And that's not fair. I need to go to the beach. I need some refreshing clearing, re-energizing. That's how I do it with the sun and ocean. And I haven't had the chance to. Do any of you love going to the beach and getting sun and salt? And it's, I do, I'm like, before I moved here to Palm City, it's all I did when I lived in Miami Beach. I do miss it, that part I miss. Everything else I don't, but the sun and the ocean walking to it, I do miss. We have gorgeous beaches here, but 
um, I don't know, for some reason since I've moved here, it's been something. Something's happened that I haven't been able to go to the beach. So uh, that's been a bit frustrating. So you see, you guys, isn't this cool? We'll get to like a frame after, because I mean, think about it. This could be a frame, you know, any kind of frame, plain frame, and you can just add any kind of molds and idea to it. And, you know, with these molds, there's so many to choose from. They're gorgeous. These are the little birds I want to do on um, the other frame, on the round frames maybe. Or I'm thinking maybe in here. We'll put them in here. Aren't they cute? I made a few earlier to show you guys what they're going to look like. Look. It's a little bird. It's another one here. And you can paint over them. So let's just finish doing this here. We'll do one more. For those that are just coming in, I'm using Iron Orchid Designs. This is the air dry clay. It's like Play-Doh. And um, you just use it uh, on these molds to create any kind of details you want to give an accent to a frame, to any area, to anything really. Frame, wood, plastic, you glue them on anything. So you just pretty much grab a piece, depending on uh, what mold you're gonna use. We're using this one right here. This is from the trimmings uh, mold. This is trimming number two. And it comes with a bunch in one, so there's many to choose from. I'm just doing this one right here. Um, so again, before you get started, until you get the hang of it, um, just so that there's no uh, stickiness, just in case, or it rips off, I always uh, like to recommend that you guys use a little bit of cornstarch. And I just dip the tip of my brush, and I just put a little bit of that inside the mold, it helps it come out easier. There. So then, we just roll, make a little long little tube. Like when you were little and you used to play with, <laughs> with clay, remember? Maybe not, it's been a long time, but it's never too late to start again. So I think that's long enough. Hi, Maria Rosa. Welcome. All right, so that one, right? Then I place it on top, and now I squeeze down. Preferably the thumb, I think, because, you know, it's the strongest, I think, of your fingers. But just push it down. Make sure that you get it in all the little areas. I hope you guys can see. Good. There you go. So remember, any excess, you can pull it off. It's great because there's like little ridges on the mold, so it helps you to take it off. If you were to just squeeze it down this way. All right. Okay, so then, the spatula and just go across with it as you push down and across to just take any excess what you're trying to do at the same time is flatten it so when you pull it out and you use your mold it's nice and straight and there's no like extra or chunky chunkiness on the on the mold all right put it back and make sure always 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 when you store it you put it inside a plastic bag and close it so it doesn't dry on you it does dry fast but if you close it and keep it tight it lasts a long time all right so now we flip it over There you go. You see, guys? Yay! There you go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. Let's put it back on this. 
So who's gonna try this at home? Who thinks is ready to give this a try? Or has been wanting to do something with frames at home? Who has old frames that you don't like anymore? I mean, even the metal ones, if you have some metal shiny ones, because I know that a lot of those were in at one time, you can paint metal um, with these paints, with the clay base paints that I carry. And oh my gosh, the change that you can make is like night and day. All right, so now I'm putting the wood glue, Gorilla wood glue on the mold. I have a little brush that helps me just, you know, make sure that I spread it correct, you know, good. And it covers all the little areas of the mold. This wood dries clear, so if for any reason a little bit of extra comes up, it's not a problem. So here we go. We're gluing it over here. Do you guys like this project? Got some guys coming with motorcycle in the background. I think you guys already know by now that that is part of my background noise. <laughs> All right. So you get the idea? So you know we continue going around and this is what I did on this one. This one should be dry already. So it was the same, a board, just a wood board. And I used some clay paint. I poured a little bit here and then I put more water. So I diluted it, I created a stain, I painted it, waited for it to dry. Then I did the molds like I just showed you. So now, let's say now we end up here. So now what I wanna do is actually create a little bit of this. I made this earlier just so you could show you how beautiful you can just create a beautiful frame. Look at this. I'm not sure where yet. I haven't decided, but. See? So let's do a little bit. Here's another little bird. Maybe too many birds. <laughs> Let's see. Because we could also use them for here. What do you guys think? You want to put them in this instead? Like do one there. This was already painted, but you know, so you could, you could see if you were to do it on a frame. You could put a little bird there. Put a little bird, a little bird here, perhaps. This one broke. Okay, I think I want to do it here. I think I like it better here. But you get the idea. You could actually put them on any frames. So since we're working on this one, let's just do it here. Put these two little guys here, here, and these two are kind of like, so let's, I'm definitely sure about this one here, so let's do this one here. So this I did probably about, it's already 5.40. I probably did them around uh, 4.30. I guess an hour, a little bit over an hour ago. And they're already like solid. They're, they're dry. They're hard already. All right, right here. We'll do one there. And um, I'm feeling to 
too many there, maybe just a little one here. Do you like this one here or here? Is there something else I want to put in the middle? So, you know what, let's do that one there. I think that will look pretty there. And this wood glue is really great. Um, there's one that they use, it's called Tide Bond. I have a hard time finding it. Um, it is supposedly very good when it's a piece that, it's, um, that you're trying to put a mold and it's kind of like, you know, um, vertical. So what happens is if it's too wet, too much wood glue, it may slide down. And in that case, you might wanna just put some tape. Um, but with this tight bond, if you guys can find it, let me know, cause I've been looking for it and they're always out of it. I cannot ever find it, but it's also another very highly recommended uh, glue for using the molds. It's called tight bond. It's a blue squeeze bottle. But so far the Gorilla Glue for me has worked great. So this you can just find at any hardware store. I got it at Home Depot. So look you guys, you see? So we started from here. So this board, look at this, it's just an ugly old piece of board. We whitewashed it with some crinoline white uh, paint by um, Country Chic. I watered it down with water, waited for it to dry, which dried really quickly because it absorbed into the wood. And then we made these molds and glued them. The molds are from the IOD sisters. So I put them right here. We used this one in particular. I don't think it has a particular name. I'm not sure, but this, this mold is from the um, trimmings. It's called trimmings number two. Uh, mold by IOD and this is called the bird song which are just a bunch of little birds and this is the one that I did here so let's just do um, one more so that you guys can see and this time I'll use the birds and we'll do another little bird let's see what other bird we can do here just so that you guys can show you. You can always, you know what's great what you can do with them? Uh, if you're not gonna use them right away and you wanna just uh, have a bunch of molds already um, made, when they first come out, put them in a plastic bag and put them in the freezer and they hold up until you use them for next time. So that's a, another trick if you guys want to do a bunch and not have to do one by one and then just uh, have them ready to use for another project. So I'm going to do one more, I think I'm going to do, which one, this guy over here, because it's the same, so just a little guy, and let's do a little guy here, these are beautiful big ones, hmm, all right, so this time we don't need to do a, uh, you know, a little two, because it's just little when I use this little bird so I just want to roll it into a little ball and put it in the middle and then squeeze down with your finger try to fill out you know the whole area of the mold make sure that there is clay by pushing down and don't worry any excess pull push it through with your finger put it away you can use it for your next project As you can see, I forgot to put some cornstarch starch this time. So this one, I didn't put any cornstarch. starch. Scorn starch just helps for the mold to come out easier, but not always the case. These are such great, delicate, and really great, great molds. The detail on them are amazing. And the product, this, silicone um, whatever these are made out of which are um, environmentally friendly as well and um, biodegradable they're also food safe I mean they're great they're really top of the line in the market and the detail are beautiful and just very professional looking so again now I'm using my spatula squeeze down and go across 
So you flatten it out and you take any excess and now you flip it over and you kind of like push out from the edges to make sure it all comes out. There you go, look how cute, isn't that beautiful? All right, so now, let's just glue it on here. We'll put this little guy over here. So you see, it just came out. The other ones were a little dry because I had made them earlier. But this time, this one just came up. So this is what I mean about not having to wait until it dries. You can pretty much right away glue it on. You don't have to wait. Just spread the glue, make sure that it's spread in all the little areas so it glues good. And that's it. Now we glue it. I think I like it which way this way. There we go. All right. Cool, huh? All right. All right, so I want to take it to Let's see, I have one more here. I think like I'm missing. I know it's a lot of birdies, but. Maybe not. What do you guys think? Okay, so my idea was now to show you how cool it would look if I were to also put a transfer on it. Just different ideas of what you can do with these. So these are the transfers, also by IOD. And I thought we should cut one and place it perhaps in the middle. Butterflies. Let's do this one, these two guys. These look cute. Let me get my scissors. I'm going to show you how you can use these also. Sorry about that. All right. So let's do these over here. So these are transfers. This one is called entomology. And it's like one big sticker and then you just cut as you need and I'll show you now how to place it. So let's see, let me cut a few and see which one will look really cool. So we want to do a big one or a bunch of little ones. This one's pretty cool. See, there's a bunch of different ones. Also with fish. So let's do that one. I think that one will look really nice. Actually. So when you're ready to use them, you just pull out the backing. They, they're a little bit sticky. It's like a sticker. They come with this plastic tool that you rub the transfer on. So I'm thinking, if you guys can see, they're just, I don't know, in the middle. What do you guys think? One butterfly or two butterflies? Two butterflies. Let's just do the two butterflies in the middle. There you go. We'll put the butterflies. Now you use the stick and you rub. And 
you'll know once it's ready that it's transferred it kind of makes a little click sound which means that the transfer went through the other side already and then you just lift it for any reason you lift it and you see that it hasn't come that's fine just push it back down you'll and you can re-rub it on the top and it'll come out. So we pretty much created today a, I wanted to do like a you know, picture frame or a wall decor art you can place on the wall or on your you know, desktop or any area in the house. And um, I have these pieces of wood around. So I thought I'd show you, you know what? Let's just do um, some really cool, like little frames, pictures. So you see how this part didn't go through all the way? I can always just go back down and match it and squeeze it and voila, there it is. So look, you guys. <laughs> I know it's pretty funky, you like it? But I wanted to show you whether you put the birds or not. Let's say we didn't put the birds, then it's just a frame. You did a frame with a mold and then you put some transfers and it just looks cool. Just a little piece of art using um, you know, all these products with IOD that really what you can do is endless, endless, endless. <laughs> you like it, Hillary? Thank you. Thanks. And now if you wanted to take it even you know, further, you can actually paint it. and. Uh, give it a different look. So if you wanted to, you know, paint the birds in a different color and the mold, you also can. So I wanted to give you a, you know, many ideas of what you could do with just any piece of board with paint, staining it with molds that you can create, uh, any designed, really what you want and using the transfers as well because I mean they're the ideas are just phenomenal there's so many but um, we'll do more of um, more specific um, you know uh, design next time this time I wanted to again these are a lot of my my you know uh, lives are basic for beginners because you know that is my audience a lot of them are just getting started and uh, I try to do as simple as possible to show you possibilities and then as we go I'll teach you more and more and what you can do and you know create create so the idea is uh, to inspire you guys so I'm gonna leave you with that I'm gonna finish it off and I'll take probably pictures of it and show you what I ended up doing with it but as you can see I'm um, just a quick recap and I'll turn you around so you can see me All right, there you go. Um, so we used the IOD air dry, dry um, play mold. We use the IOD molds. There's like tons of choices, but today we use the bird song and we use the trimmings, number two. And I use some of the country chic paints and the color crinoline and I watered it down with water and painted the raw wood to create this look. So just a piece of board, we created some molds, we did the trimming, we did a little bit of the birds, and then with the transfer, this one is the entomology, I cut out some butterflies and put it in the middle. And look how cute that is. Maybe I put another little bird here, and maybe just continue painting it in white and that's it the possibilities are endless really there's so many so just use your imagination you guys i know that you can do it um you are welcome to join my creative tribe group it's called something from somewhere creative tribe i always encourage any of you if you're trying for the first time or you're just beginners or you're advanced to please post and give us ideas we all learn from each other so i hope you join that community if i can help you in any way if you have any questions you can always reach me send me an email at info at something from somewhere.com all of the products that i use are for sale i do have them on my website everything is um 
categorized by you know iron orchid designs or country chic paint so it's really easy to maneuver but if you do have questions again you can always contact me i'm always happy to um, show you or guide you in the right way if you have questions so thank you for being here you guys um, again if i didn't mention the website it was something from somewhere i know that some of you um, asked me so if you're just also showing up right now something from somewhere.com I do keep the lives so you can always go back and check them out to my youtube channel it's also something from somewhere and uh, thank you again for being here and I hope that I've inspired you to create something from somewhere and make it beautiful thank you goodbye the sound again motorcycles in my life <laughs> thank you guys bye bye